What's up everybody? It's day 30 and I'm here. I'm in the front of the house today. I'm not going to get too far away from this mic. But today is day 30 like I said and this morning was a pretty good morning. Got to do a little workout, cook the kids breakfast. I made them some eggs and bacon and I made them some pancakes and I got to make Eleanor some special pancakes and I made Harper some protein pancakes that she likes. And of course some Eleanor gets some peanut butter chips. Eleanor gets some chocolate chips on hers. I mean, Eleanor gets peanut butter chips and Harper gets some chocolate chips. But today's episode is brought to you by Harper's Landing Photography. She specializes in newborn photography here outside the house. It is a very intimate, special time for the parents to get capture the, the moment of their newborn baby within like the first two weeks of the baby being born and the pictures are just amazing and they're super high quality when they come out and she puts them on high quality canvases that you can hang up in your house and just they're gonna be timeless and you know you just you can't go without them but anyways back to the real estate what i actually did today is i went out to 11794 sedona drive in daphne alabama it's got 17 acres and it's got a 2,800 square foot house approximately, but it has a pool and then it has another house, kind of like the pool house that you can use for all sorts of different things, a mother-in-law suite or throw your teenagers back there. It's got a kitchen, microwave, bathroom, huge open area, and then it's got a loft on the top. You can sleep up in there. Um, I'm not sure the square footage on it, but it's pretty big. And then of course the 17 acres, if you got horses or you want to start having horses and um, maybe get some cows or something. You can put it out there, but it's out in the country. Real nice area. It's very beautiful. Um, I did take some videos of it, so I'll probably post it. I'm going to put them together and probably post it. So if you know anybody that is looking for some acreage, please let me know. I would love to take them out there and show them the property. And like I said, it's very beautiful, very, very open space. The kitchen's beautiful. Um, it's got gas range and then it looks into the living room where it's got the fireplace and the TVs on the fireplace and just really nice wood floors throughout. So, and then tomorrow I'm doing an um, open house at 10359 Eleanor Court. I was there last weekend and should be a beautiful day out again. A uh, beautiful time. There's signs all out there right now and uh, would love for you to stop by, check, take a look at it. I'll have some water, maybe some Nutri-Grain bars out there. One day I might have some cookies, but you know me, I'm a healthy kind of guy. Uh, not quite the guy that pushes cookies onto people. But anyways, so the other thing today is what I want to talk to you about is kind of a good way to get through your day. Like we have been talking about like gratitude and things like that for people and just staying positive and not beating yourself up by talking negative to yourself. And I got six kind of cool steps to trying to get through the day because we all talk about how how we're not getting this done, we're not getting that done, we're not getting this done. We never talk about what we actually got done. And I was a huge victim of that back in the back before I started writing everything down in a calendar. And once I started writing everything down in a calendar, I realized I actually did a lot throughout the day. Because if you don't write it down, your brain forgets and you're like, man, I just wasted the whole day. I didn't get this done, I didn't get this done, I didn't do the dishes. I didn't wash my car, I didn't do this, I didn't mow the yard. And you got this laundry list of just all this stuff that you never did, never got done instead of focusing on all the things you did get done. So that kind of leads me into keep a victory log. And the victory log, you can call it whatever you want, just keep a log of all the positive things that you've done throughout the day. Um, like if you woke up, made your bed, put that in the log, made my bed today. If you got up and brushed your teeth, heck, some people don't do it. If you want to count that as a victory, go ahead. Um, did your breakfast dishes, made your breakfast, because a lot of people don't make breakfast now. A lot of people skip breakfast and a lot of people don't even cook their own food. So if you cooked your own food today, that's a huge victory right there. If you didn't go to McDonald's or something like that, that's a victory when you normally go. Or if you skip that Starbucks coffee today, you don't have to, but if you did and you think that's a victory, write that down in your victory notebook and get a notebook. I carry a notebook this big and then I have a notebook about this big that I have um, that kind of keep my ideas in and then I have another one that has my goals wrote that I write down each day and 
that one so I got three books that I write in and actually like yeah three books that I write in um and it really helps out it helps the brain like get the stuff onto paper and it helps your brain to actually calm down and I sleep pretty good at night I think that it really helps because there are times when I get kind of stressed out and I'm like man and I keep thinking about this one thing and it's actually keeping me up and I know I should probably just get up and go write it down and it'll probably go out of my head and I'll be able to sleep but let's move on and a number two to keep you kind of motivated and keeping you happy and smiling every day is some warm and fuzzies, like some some gratitude from other people. Like, hey, thank you for helping me out today. Or, man, you were a great help in the office. Thank you for changing the toilet paper roll in the bathroom at the office or at your house or just anywhere. Or somebody just, you give a compliment to somebody else. Like, that's a warm and fuzzy too. Like, that makes you feel good and that makes the other person feel good. Um, spread the wealth, spread the cheer, spread spread the joy, and just you know write write it down if you need to. But if you got to keep tabs of it, that's perfectly fine. You know you don't have to write every single one down, but put like five or six down for the day. Um, number three, I want to do this, but I don't know if the wife is gonna let me do it. I have a giant whiteboard out in the garage. I'm probably gonna have to leave it out in the garage. I was actually thinking about it this morning when I was working out, and. I want to just start putting the victories down there that I, that I get throughout the day. Or, you know, like once I get my first home sale, I'm going to put that on there. Once I get my first listing appointment, I'm going to put that on there. Once I get, you know, all my firsts, and then I'm going to start making a goal of at least 10, I mean, seven to 10 appointments a week. And I'm going to put that on there. And then once I get those and start hitting those goals, I'm going to start checking them off. And basically, it's just a, it's kind of like a goal board, but it's your victory board of like the, the harder things to get. It's not going to be like, I want to make a million dollars. You can put that on there, but it's going to be off to the side. You're trying to hit things that you can hit throughout the day and just keep that board just going. It doesn't even have to be filled up right now. Just start filling it up now and then start checking it off as you go. And then after you do check them off and the board's fully checked off, take a picture of it and save it on your phone and look at it throughout the next coming weeks. Like look at it man i did do all those goals because the next goals you put up there are going to be harder than the ones you already had on there and so your brain will probably forget about the ones you already hit and think that it'll probably start sending you down this negative path and then you need to break out your phone and look at them like no i already hit all these goals i am going to hit all these goals and the power of writing it down and we're going to talk about that later on is is amazing and you know i wrote some some steep goals in my goal book and they've all most of them have all come true from when I wrote them down which I mean I'm a huge believer in writing down your goals you have to have it's kind of like a GPS system if you opened up your GPS and said I want to go to Birmingham but you didn't put it into the GPS you're not going to make like your cars that that GPS system is not going to take you to Birmingham it who knows where it's going to take you but if you tell that GPS system to take me to Birmingham and put an address in, hit go, it's going to take you there. Probably the quickest way possible. So if you don't have any goals wrote down, it's going to take you a long time to hit any goals or to get to where you think you want to go. Number four, have some success objects hanging up or just laying around. Like I like to have my college diploma out and it's framed, nice, beautiful, hanging up. Um, I still have my high school diploma. I pull it out every once in a while. Um, One thing I do kind of regret is I never kept all my sales awards from Sprint, um, like a T-Mobile one. Like I had all sorts of different ones that from sales that I had, but I still have my level one and my level two from CrossFit. They're just in the house. I'm going to put those up in the garage. So those, those success objects, like keep them around you and just let, let them know, let, let yourself know that you did those and that, that those are part of the positive, positive things that you've done in your life. And I've actually wrote down probably like 100 things that I've done and accomplished in my life on a piece of paper. And that'll make you, that'll change your whole mindset to everything. Because even I go through the phases of, I haven't done anything. I've, what have I accomplished? What have I not accomplished? And if you just sit down and write down everything that you've accomplished, you're going to amaze yourself. Especially if you can remember within the last like 10 years. But go back as far as you can and try and write down 100 of them. But as far as the success objects, just keep some around, keep some around the office, keep some, you know, maybe one in the bathroom so you can wake up, you can smile at it and be like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad I did that. Uh, Number five is I'm a big 
violator of this one. I never really ask for acknowledgement. I just kind of think that I'm, somebody's going to give it to me. Um, and it's okay to ask for it. Like, hey, hey, babe, what do you think? How do you think I did on this? Or what do you think this looks like? And if they tell you the truth, accept it and be happy with what they told you. Like, be happy they didn't tell you a lie. Or ask your boss. And another thing you could do is, especially if you're in a corporate world or something like that, like start writing down all your successes that you've done over the past month, week, um, day. Like break it down and then take it to your boss each month and be like, here you go. I just wanted to give you a little update of what I've been doing. And I guarantee you that's going to help you out in the long run. It's going to help you move up that ladder a little bit quicker because the boss is knowing what knows what you're doing and knows that you're being proactive and doing the things that you're supposed to be doing and trying to advance in your career. Um, but if you don't want to advance, don't do that. But if you want to advance, knock it out of the ballpark and write down everything you're doing. He should or she should be super excited that you bring it to him and you bring the, the attention to him about all the things that you've actually done that is helping out the company and making the company better. Um, and number six, before you go to bed, after you, or when you wake up, whenever you see your kids or your spouse, like tell them you love them. Like hug on them, tell them you love them. Your friends, next time you see them, next time you talk to them on the phone, tell them you love them and smile while you do it. Like show some emotion when you're doing it. Don't just be like, love you and just walk off. Like give your kids a big hug, give your spouse a big hug, your friend a big hug next time you see them when you go out to coffee or going to dinner. Just just anything like love on people like if you love on people people are going to love on you back so that's all i got for today uh day 31 is tomorrow that'd be let's call that a month you know in the real estate world 30 days is a month so i'm at one month only missed one day don't expect me to miss another day even when i'm on vacation i am gonna hit up these lives so i appreciate you watching and uh have a great day